Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today uh, we're gonna try to do a little uh, DIY craft project and we're gonna make our own reflector. For those of you who don't know what a reflector is, if you watched my last video, I got hit in the face with a reflector. Would you like a reminder? I could do that all day. But really though, you gotta be careful with those things because I looked away for one second and got in the face. But first, we're gonna talk about what a reflector is, what it's used for, and a little bit about what we're gonna be making today. So first things first, what is a reflector? A reflector is a reflective surface that is used to redirect light towards your subject. Reflectors can be used indoors or outdoors. They're super versatile and they can really enhance your photos. They are lightweight, portable, and they come in different shapes and sizes from squares, triangles to rectangles or circles. All the shapes, pretty much. I'll just put a picture right here. So reflectors essentially have different colored sides to them. They usually have a white, a translucent, silver, gold, and black. Uh, today, we're gonna make all of them except for the black. Black is just really used to block out light, so I just don't really feel like that's necessary. I think you can really use anything to block out light. I don't know, I could be wrong, but. Now let's talk about each side of the reflector so that you can get an idea of uh, what each use is or what effect you're gonna get with it. And that way, when you go to use it, you kind of know what side um, will help you achieve um, the look that you're wanting. So starting with white, white is a subtle fill light. It'll give you a soft, clean reflection and it will help you eliminate unwanted shadows. Now for the silver side, uh, the silver side is going to provide uh, the, probably the strongest or the brightest reflection. It's gonna really accentuate your highlights and really increase your contrast. Now the gold side, uh, I think people mainly like to use those outside uh, because it's really gonna bring out the warm tones um, from the sunlight and it's really gonna add that warmth to the skin. And finally, for the translucent side, uh, that, that side is going to diffuse light. So if you have some direct sunlight, it's gonna diffuse and balance out your light. It will give you more of a soft box type of effect, kind of like you see now. So the dollar store usually has a variety of the materials I'm thinking of using, uh, but with the holiday season, um, I'm thinking I can use, um, there's plenty of gift wrap kind of foil type surfaces. If I can't find any of that, um, some aluminum foil I think will work great. Parchment paper, um, they always have poster board and foam core. So those are the types of things that I'm wanting to uh, look for at the dollar store and if I happen to see anything else that might work then I'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, let's see if we have some luck. It's getting closer to the holidays so who knows what is left. So let's move on and head to Dollar Tree. Hi friends. Um, I just pulled up to one of my favorite stores. Dollar Tree. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm curious to find out. I mean, I know at least the white poster board should work, but I don't know. If we Hopefully we can find some reflective material. Um, but yeah. Fingers crossed, because there are too many people in this parking lot and it's the holidays, so we'll see. But uh, Dollar Tree normally restocks on Mondays and Tuesdays. You're welcome. 
So anyways, here we go. Okay, I'm at my third Dollar Tree um, in two days. There is no poster board anywhere, I'm assuming because a lot of virtual learning and I don't know what else you would need white paper or white poster board for. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, I can find some in this one. If not, I'm going to have to go to Nightmare before Walmart tomorrow morning and um, hopefully find some there. Wish me luck. Here we go. And we're back. Now let's go through what I found at the Dollar Tree. That was weird, sorry. All right, starting with white. Uh, I got poster board, two for a dollar. Um, I got this just because it's more flexible, so kind of deal with that a little more if you need to, so got this as an option and then we have foam core which is obviously more stiff but i kind of like that because you can um they have special um stands for reflectors and that you can prop up uh, but i figured this might be a little bit easier to clamp onto like um a light stand or something if you need it if you don't have an assistant so there's this so what i'd like to do for this experiment i want to cut this in fours and uh, we're gonna make um, and we'll make small versions of each of these just for experiment purposes but of course um, if you need bigger ones you can always make these much bigger but for today they're gonna be a little smaller now for the silver side I found this lovely door foil gift wrap dollar for this roll and um i'm sure it'll be reflective enough but just in case i got two more options handy dandy aluminum foil and these aluminum trays yeah, you can already see it's kind of reflecting pretty nicely on my face uh this looks like a cookie cookie tray cookie sheets two cookie sheets two for a dollar make sure that you are reading your packaging um, and double checking because I went to the first Dollar Tree. I ended up going to two Dollar Trees. Um, the first one, I thought this was silver, but no. It's clear, it's clear. Cello wrap, cello, cello wrap. So don't forget to uh, keep your receipts, kitty cats, and uh, return whatever you don't need or find another use for them, so. I'm gonna be returning this one because I don't need a whole roll of clear. And now for gold. So for the gold, I found this beautiful gift wrap, this like holographic looking gift wrap. Um, so I got lucky. I really didn't think I was gonna find this this late into the season, but I did, so no complaints here. And plan B, gift bag. This I could probably glue onto the foam core or I could just leave it like this so that I can kind of manipulate it more. But uh, we'll see. Now for the translucent side. So I got a packet of parchment paper. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put this on. I probably should have gotten like a picture frame or something that I could have stapled this to. That might've worked. I don't know. I didn't think about that at the moment, so we're gonna see how, if we can use this. Or so I also got this, uh, this kind of like frosted type um, chopping mat. Chopping mat? 
it's a cutting board. Um, I know it's a little bit more transparent than um, the um, reflector, the real reflector, whatever you want to call it, um, but I think it might work. It worked to diffuse some light a little bit. We'll see. We'll find out soon. And as an added bonus, um, I don't, I found these. There's a, this filler paper. There's four sheets in a pack. There's, I got a red one and a blue one. I don't know if this will work, but I thought it'd be a fun experiment just to see if we can reflect some colorful light um, on our subject. So for this project, you're gonna need four other materials in addition to what we purchased at Dollar Tree. You're gonna need a ruler, a box cutter or an X-Acto knife, rubber cement, and scissors. These are all things that you most likely have at home. Uh, the only thing I had to go out and purchase, I mean, other than the Dollar Tree materials was rubber cement, so. Anyway, enough talk, enough chit chat, and let's get started. Welcome to my floor. I have a cutting mat, this is optional, but I don't wanna destroy my floors. This is about 20 by 30, so I'm just gonna um, just divide it into four evenly, cut it with my box knife, um, so we have um, four pieces. So in this case, I think the easiest thing is gonna be um, <clears throat> just to trace my foam core to the exact size that I need with the wrapping paper, cut it out, and then with the rubber cement, we'll glue it right on the surface. It's pretty simple. Um, it did get kind of, it gets kind of bubbly. I'm not really sure why. I smoothed it out pretty good, but um, whatever, it'll do the trick. This doesn't matter as long as it reflects the light like we want it to. It should be okay. Ideally, when you're using a reflector, you might want to have an assistant, someone helping you to kind of um, move uh, and manipulate the um, reflector as needed. We didn't have that, so I had my model hold on to the reflector. Um, I just positioned it where I needed him to hold it just to get the pictures that we needed uh, to take.
So we took the cover off of the soft box and uh, we now have like a harsh light so we're gonna treat it as if it was like sun direct sunlight. So it's gonna create those, that harsh light and the harsh shadows on the opposite side where it's not lit up. So we're gonna take the cover off of the reflector and use uh, the kind of more transparent side to diffuse the light. Uh, use that as um, comparison number one and then we're gonna try it with the cutting board. Shopping mat. I will say if you're gonna use something like this, um, these aren't heat resistant. So if you're gonna hold it up against a hot, hot light, do it for a very short amount of time. If you're gonna use this outside, then you might be fine. Okay, final thoughts. So, I will say that starting with the white, um, this is definitely a little small, let's be real. But um, just for demonstration purposes, poster board worked pretty good. Um, but if, I, if you're gonna use, again, poster board or um, foam core, definitely use like the full sheet, you'll probably get better results. This holographic side was a. It wasn't, I mean, you'd probably have to have it pretty close. Um, so I didn't think this one was as successful as the gift bag side. As you can see, way better reflection, reflection reflective surface. So um, if you're gonna use a gold side, definitely recommend this side. I will say though, with the reflective surfaces, like the gold and the silver, make sure you're holding it above your model. If you hold it below, you're gonna blind your model. I've done that before, <laughs> sorry. Especially if you have like a bright light. I mean, I have the soft box now, but if you have like direct sunlight, this is definitely gonna get in their face. It's gonna be like, My eyes! so don't do that. For silver, Wrapping paper worked pretty good, as you can see. Uh, definitely the aluminum foil was a little bit brighter, but I think they both work pretty good. Same with the cookie sheet. Um, I mean, it's essentially foil, but um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think these were pretty successful. As for the red and the blue, I really like these. It kind of gives you that gel light effect. So I think it would be fun to um, maybe get different colors, get a different light set up, and then maybe you can do like different colors on different on different angles and things. So yeah, that was pretty, pretty successful. So I'm glad that worked out. So talking about the diffuse light, um, I feel like the, the cutting boards weren't as successful. Um, they might be a, still a little bit too transparent. This comes with two in a pack. So um, I went ahead and left them together, but even then I feel like it didn't diffuse the light very well. Um, I would say that definitely the parchment paper worked the best. Now parchment paper can withhold heat, but I still would not recommend leaving it um, in front of or taped onto a hot light just to be safe. So uh, yeah, once you're done using it, 
definitely take it off. <laughs> just again, to be safe and not cause any fires, just in case. So uh, between the cutting board and the parchment paper, the parchment paper was definitely the winner. I know that these little DIYs aren't pretty, uh, but I think that they, for the most part, they work really well. Um, just as good as the store-bought uh, reflector. Um, so why not? If you need it for a shoot, just do it, use it. Um, you can always cut these to the size you want, put them in a tote bag and take them with you um, to your shoot. Why not? You know? Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and this little experiment. Um, so uh, if you ever do any shoots inspired by my videos, whether it's this reflector or any other shoots I've done in the past, um, please feel free to tag me. Um, I'm on Instagram at Christina Ramos Photography. I'd love to see your work because I'm una entrometia. Um, and I love to see what other people create. Happy holidays. Um, be safe, uh, be happy, be creative, and remember that you can create anything with just a little uh, creativity and imagination. See you next time. Bye! I can't do that outro thing. It's just not my thing. It's just not working. How do we feel about these bangs? Hmm? I tried to style them earlier and I looked like that weird dude from Charlie's Angels. The one that like rips hair out and smells it. Is that one? It's creepy. And we're back. Ow! <laughs> That's a little bright, I know, but you get it. See that man, Coquito?